Hi guys, my name is Tomcat and welcome back to the Crew 2 for a look at some brand new vehicles. Now this is the Suzuki GSX-R 1000R and it is one of the new vehicles released today in the April vehicle drop. The other one is the 2016 Porsche Cayman and if I can get over here, there we go, the Porsche Cayman GT4. So in this video we are going to be building and customizing a Cayman GT4 and in the next one we are going to be building and customizing that Jixxer 1000. So let's go ahead and get straight right into the Porsche and this one is going to be fun so color wise we have a lot of stock colors to choose from I want to do something other than something other than like the factory blue that it comes with um let's see standard metallic we have kind of a full spectrum of colors here that we could use and I know I like you know I, I know I like some of these crazy colors but I feel like almost a I don't know maybe a yellow would look cool I like that actually or a red. Red usually looks usually looks good on Porsches. It just it just pops really really well. Like a, a good metallic red. It's yeah, that's a color that definitely works. Now, liveries. I don't know if there really are that many right now. I mean, there's ah, there's a few. Yeah, there's a few. I don't know if like okay, we've got like a you know a standard Porsche one. We've got this one which says a GT4 Club Sport. We got a Martini one. Okay, so we've got a, like a fair few designs uh, that are out there. But I think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna run this one without one. And let's see what we could do for visual customization. Now I'm thinking carbon hood with the big big vents, and then front bumper wise, ooh, we can do like carbon um, headlight surrounds. That's really cool. Like, with body color inside the headlight housings, that's really cool. Wheels-wise, I mean, we could do standard GT4 wheels or black GT4 wheels. And then we start to get into our aftermarket options. I like these a lot. I'm trying to find something that would look good, but not look overdone. Like, <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Perfect wheel for your Cayman GT4, but no, let's see just gonna go through a couple more options here and None of them are really jumping out of it. Well, actually these are these are No, not in red definitely not in red Kind of a battleship gray almost and I don't want to increase the size at all. Let's see caliper color Red to match the car Yes, I think yes. I think yes, red to match the car. And performance-wise, apparently we have... Okay, so we have a upgraded ECU and an upgraded uh, motor core part to put in. Now, we're going to have to go and win more races to actually get more performance parts for this car, but it looks really good right now. So let's take it out and see what this thing is like to drive and see if it's good at winning races. And I'm in the wrong car. I am 100% in the wrong car. Why am I in the wrong car? There. Select, please. I don't know why I didn't set it as the favorite. Oh, it sounds really good. It handles amazingly well. Holy crap! Sounds so freaking good. It like it, it won't it won't lose traction. Now I know that that's partially you know the cruise physics system. What are you doing? Are you broken? Brakes down a couple gears. Why are you over the double yellow? This thing is stuck to the ground. Oh my god! I dig how this drives. It's so precise. It's, tr like, genuinely, truly super precise. Um, I need to find a good race event to do. Uh-oh. Wow! I was really hoping that rock was smaller than it actually ended up being. And that was my fault. That was 100% my fault. But let's find a race to drop this thing into because it's got to be something with twists and turns because we are not going to be able to actually experience the Canyon by Night... Central Woods to Amarillo, uh, Pikes Peak Mountains, bruh, I'm it, done, like, in for that, done, 100%, done. Yes, <laughs> yes, 100%, 
And not only am I completely 100% in for this, but it's also going to be the perfect way, perfect way to test out the handling of this car because it's a Porsche. I mean, not only is it a Porsche, but it's a GT Porsche. It's a GT4, and it's it was made for environments like this. Come on! Right in the proper power band. If that Aston would just get out of the way. Oh, whoa. The handling did something weird and shot me off into the grass. I don't know what happened. It really doesn't like when you make contact with other cars, though. It's almost like the game will go, no, no, and it will throw you off your line. It's weird. There we go. Ooh, easy. Not bad. Diving in. God, it's so smooth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, don't catch the dirt. If you catch the dirt, you're in big trouble. You're in big, big trouble. And also, that's partially my fault for looking off into the distance at the pretty scenery. But yeah, dude, it turns in so well. The power band is super wide, too. Like, surprisingly wide. I can stay in third for a lot of these hairpins. The gearing is long. And it keeps you right in that power range that you need to be in. Dude! Oh my god! I need to stop looking at the view, but damn! Whoa! Wow! I need. I really need to stop looking at the view, otherwise I'm going to end up at being part of the view. But wow, look at that! That is tremendous! That is absolutely insane. That's one of the best views I've seen in this entire game. Like, bar none. Like, that is so good. 7.1 seconds ahead, damn. Oh no, not anymore! Ah! Oh! Back on track, please. Okay, now let's try to hold the lead after that massive screw-up. That's what happens when you decide to look at the scenery. So don't look at the scenery. The scenery is irrelevant. Not really, because I'm still going to look at it anyway, because it's gorgeous, but... Just don't look at the scenery mid-corner. How about that? That that seems like a good strategy. Good idea. We're still ahead, but by a lot less. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, we need to gain back that distance. 3.8 seconds. Come on! Seriously, one of the prettiest areas of the map. Like, I... I can't really think of many of uh, many other map areas that are as pretty as this, especially during the day, dude. Like, wow, what a pretty area. Not bad. Easy. No tires on the inside. Tires back to the inside again. There's the finish. And boom. It's a fun race. I mean... I had to finish creatively, but still, that is a hell of a fun race. And you know why I think it was so much fun? Because it was the best possible environment for this car. And why the hell is this stuff over here? Gearbox, ECU, brakes. All right, those are all worthwhile upgrades for sure. Shift back down. Uh, oh, oh my god. Are I just want to back up. Like, seriously, bro, I just want to back up. All right, now let's see. Let's equip some of those parts because those will definitely help us out. Get that gearbox part in. And, well, wait a minute. There we go. Now we can get that ECU part in. Bruh, there there we go. Yellow loot. Yellow loot's a mechanic's dream. Every part gives you the usual stuff, but if you collect a set of seven specific pieces, you get a super cool new bonus. There are five, gotcha. five different bonuses. But you can only use one. Drops are random, so it may take time. But wow, is it worth it. Alright, well, we'll keep on the lookout for, for more, for sure. I wonder what this thing could do top speed-wise. 
that's always like that's always an interesting question with these cars because it's like we've got a, a brand new car to the game what kind of top speed can we do let's see salt flats drag race well we're not gonna actually do the drag race itself but we are gonna go to the salt flats and just see just see what this thing is uh, actually capable of so got our event spot right here and well why don't we just why don't we just fast travel here and then back up <laughs> then back up so it doesn't start it excuse me well we've got a little bit of a run up there's the start of the drag race I think oh oh that's not the start of the drag race help start of the drag race oh it's over there all right um I need to get unstuck Getting unstuck is critical. There's 130. There's 140. I'm not expecting it to be record-breaking. I mean, it is, all, it is still a Cayman. But I just want to see what it's capable of. 170. 190. Now, that's with the nitrous, but still... Holding 190 in 6th gear. Holding 192, 193. Holding 193. That's impressive. That's impressive. For this little thing, that's that's pretty good. We'll wait for that NOS to recharge just a little bit. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And nail the boost. Hits the rev limiter at like 196. I, I figured the gearing would not let me do 200, but I just kind of wanted to see, you know? It's always one of those things where you always want to see if a car will do that massive number. Because it is a massive number. It really is. But, whoa! Whoa! Ow! Come on. Get back out on the... Ah! Oh! You're not a rock bouncer. Why are you attempting to bounce over rocks? Um... That was apparently a jump record that I set in a... In definitely a different car because I didn't really get any air in this thing. But it's a really good car. I highly recommend... Even if you're not a big Porsche fan, I highly recommend checking this thing out. Because it's a great car, it's fun to drive, and... As we've seen, it's effective in races. Because not only is it fun to drive, but it's very easy to drive. It's forgiving. It's... It's easy to manage. It's inviting to drive it's literally all the things that make porsches great like is is right there for you in this car i mean that's that's about all you can say about it is that it's literally exactly what you'd expect in all the best ways you know what i mean there we go god it's so fun and you know what it's such a pretty car too like it looks so good against this backdrop and this landscape but if you guys enjoyed this video and this car spotlight make sure to click that like button let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to the channel please do just subscribe for more and i'll see you guys next time talk to y'all later